Hello Virgos, how are you doing? Uh, welcome to your August 2020 reading. Uh, remember, this is a general reading. To take it as it resonates, okay? And that the cards are not gender specific. So um, it could go either way, okay? And also keep in mind that it can be for the cross watcher watching. Uh, the, the cards can be reversed for the cross watcher or for you, okay? And uh, please click like and share and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel, okay? Um, because I do love doing tarot readings and to give you advice on life events. So um, if you can please click that subscribe, uh, I can't talk, subscribe button. Uh, click that subscribe button and that way you'll get notifications when, we're on, when I'm online or get a new video, okay? So uh, I will be doing uh, starting soon with personal readings and also we'll be doing live streams. So uh, please click that subscribe button for me. Thank you. All right, so let's get started. Um, I do ask that you blow off the energy to breathe in that, you know, make, make it positive. Um, also, just um, keep in mind that I do wait for the cards to flip. For me, I don't take the cards off the floor. I don't. Um, I feel like the angels and gods and ancestors and divine universe will help us get the answers that we're seeking. Okay? So, I hope that you have a great reading. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so let's get started. And sometimes I will ask questions um, to the universe. Alright? So, all right, so I'm starting off with my Romance Angel cards. Let's get three cards on that to see, to get a warm up to how we're feeling with your Romance Angels, okay? Angel Gods and Spirits, please show me the cards for Virgo. What I need to see to give the guided advice. What cards do I need to see for Virgo? Okay, there's one. It's the Soulmate card. And I'm going to pull two more and go through the cards. Angel Gods and Spirits and Divine Universe. We know that you are watching. Give the best advice for Virgo. More cards. Okay. And for guys, if you're watching, please help me meditate. That will help with the energy. Think about your reading and what answer and questions you want to seek. There's one more. Okay, you have a codependency card here too, as well. And true love. So you have the, the soulmate card and the true love card. Okay, here. So these three cards here, uh, being with the soulmate, um, making that connection with that soulmate. And yes, this is your soulmate that we're going to be reading for. But there's a codependency card here that's for you or your soulmate. So someone's being codependent. Um, usually from a childhood, uh, something caused you to feel that need and that addiction that can be affecting and blocking your love life. So, but you are, some true love is coming in. Um, but this is either an ex or a new love. So, um, but this is, with these two here being the true, it says this is the romance of a lifetime. So this is somebody we're talking about that's going to be your soulmate, um, that's will be coming or you know this person's already that is your soulmate already so there's a codependency here either for you or the cross watcher or the person you're uh you're working with or that you're in a relationship with so this is a true love too so this can be from you from both of you so let's see what happens why you know what they're talking about universe for the soulmate what is going on with Virgos and soulmate and true love here? And that codependency. There's some type of addiction to each other. 
or individually. So let's look into that. Okay. Angel, gods, and spirits, please help me find the right answer for the, the cards for Virgo. And I had shuffled up the cards all pre-shuffled before we started. Okay, angel, gods, and spirits. And the great divine. Okay, I'm going to pull. Oh, here's two cards that just kind of flipped on me. You have the judgment card. Okay, this is about making a decision. Or it could be a little bit about karma. So, um, we're going to get more into that. But I'm just going to show you the cards first, and then I'll tell the storyline. This is a tower. There was a tower moment before, or it's coming soon. So, it could be... Okay. Angel, gods, and spirits. Angel, gods, and spirits. Angel, gods, and spirits, please give me the cards I need to know for accuracy. For Virgo. You have the three of coins. Angel, gods, and spirits. So you have the strength card. All right. You're having, after this tower moment or this tower moment's coming, there's a decision you need to make. It seems like you're working on your money right now or a project or ideas. Uh, this could be your other person working on their ideas and their money and career or uh, building something. And also uh, looking into the future for how to make more money. You also got the strength card. Okay. There's a strength card and the three of coins, which is the same as three of pentacles. So I'm going to, um, looking at this, there's something that happened with the soulmate and the codependency and the true love here. It looks like there was in this tower moment that interrupted, um, something that you're going to have to decide on. Being in the middle of the judgment and the three of coins, it looks like the tower moment caused some conflict and to you, Virgo, or it could have been to your other person, but it was a very painful, maybe a very strong decision you're needing to make. Okay, this could be about your career, but it also could be sitting beside this tower that came crashing down. Um... That you were working so hard on. Okay, let's see. Angel, God, and Spirits. Angel, God, and Spirits. Please show me the cards. I need to see. I'll pull one more card for this first line from the past. That's going to lead into your present moment. I'm going to take this card. It's coming out. Um, yeah, there's a King of Cups here. There was some love. So this card right here is going to run into your past. So I'm going to put that there. But you're staying strong in a situation. But let me see. Are you choosing between a career and love? Hmm. Angel guys and spirits, please show me the cards I need to see. <sighs> Several wants to come out at one time, but I want to get close to. Oh, here's one that's pulling out. The juggling card. The two of coins. It looks like you're juggling between two things, or this could be the cross watcher. Uh, it could be between love and finances. 
um, you're going to have to make this decision sitting here or this could be a karma issue I don't know enough yet but you're staying strong in this situation but you're, there's two things here that either someone's juggling you into a third party or you're juggling between a career and love so take it as you, it resonates Some of the cards I need to see. That's flipped. Ooh. Deception here and fantasy. This could be a confrontation as well. The moon card. Uh, yeah, it looks like some love. You, you or the cross watcher was being, was being deceived, um, or there was a serious confrontation about a situation in love. Spirits, please show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, here's the page of wands. Um, here he is a fiery type page. He um, has a message for you. He's very young and skillful, but this is a um, situation where going into the future of it. Um, I will get one more roll and then we will uh, do a final outcome. But it looks like that he, this person is immature and that he, they deceived you. And I think you confronted that, that topic or whatever it was because this juggling card here was some type of deception. It could be just on money. It doesn't necessarily have to mean a person, but someone could have deceived you financially um, or trying to trick you into something to do with your financials uh, situation okay maybe they're taking money from you but there is a love cut a cup here the king of cups someone was in a relationship that you gave your love and gave your all to again this could be the cross watcher but I feel like this is you Virgo and someone deceived you with juggling acts and that tower moment came or will be coming but this immature page here has a message and um, has some fiery action there was some heat here you know All right thank you guys and spirits show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see Again, the seven of coins. You're trying to grow your money here. You're trying to grow your money and be fruitful in your life. And, you know, and it seems like somebody was after your money. That used love to get your money. Okay. Like they were manipulating you to get to your money to your bank account and maybe you gave them money and uh, they were trying to suck you dry financially okay but there's a serious tower moment here between love and that could have been this juggling thing here sounds like manipulation angel guys and spirit please show me the cards I need to see you have the, the four of swords this has made you exhausted has made you kind of go within yourself to rest here to heal from this situation because again this is someone you truly love when that king of cups and the true love is soulmate here you felt like this was your soulmate but that codependency card here someone was dependent on you financially it looks like they got in a relationship with you and made you feel that you were being loved and true love. And you feel like this person is your soulmate. And, but they were 
sounds like a little bit of a narcissist uh, that came into your life to see that you're financially doing well and use that cup of love to manipulate you. But you truly love this person because a true, a true love card and your soulmate. Um, and with this deception here, yeah, someone I think is trying to manipulate you to use you financially through the means of love. Angel guys and spirit, please give me another card. One more card, please. Oops. Are out. One more card, please. So what's on the bottom of the deck? You have the um, yeah, the four of cups in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Uh, this person, yeah, it looks like they took advantage of you because if it's in the upright, that means someone's wishing for you. They're, they didn't appreciate you, the love that you were giving them. But but in the reverse, it's showing that that someone was taking advantage of you. Okay, but. Here you go. That this, this third card that came out for the last roll was the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups here is saying, you know, you know what? You have gotten a lot of love because the universe knows you're the Empress. And this person knows you're the Empress, okay? Right here. You see how nurturing and loving yourself? You're taking care of a lot of things here. The Empress is everything. It's like four queens and, and one person. So you're nurturing, you're loving, you know, you know, you want the life to be beautiful. You want to be in peace and har harmony. But looking at this card, I'm going to clarify everything with another deck. Um, change my deck here. But that's what it looks like, Virgo. You have, you know, the judgment card here is the overall energy of the card. So there's going to have to be a decision on this whole whole storyline here uh, but it does look like a narcissist or somebody who's manipulating you or to take advantage of you you're financially because you are a loving kind soul you love you know taking care of people and that with that empress here showing you that that you're that type of person but also even if you're an empress you can be codependent or someone was codependent on you so think about that virgo who is this person is it you that's codependent or the other person that was de dependent on you financially? Now, the roles can be reversed for the cross watcher. Um, so think about, but there was a tower moment because somebody got really tired of this situation. They got tired and they're like, I'm not doing this anymore. And that tower or that tower will come because of this deception energy going on. But you're being strong, Virgo. You got your money. You have your money, your finance, finances, and you're growing. And, but there's, and you're staying in your imp, empress power. So let's see. Angels and guys, for the final outcome, please give me the cards I need to see for Virgo, August 2020. Show me the the honest cards and the true true cards that she, they, he or she needs to see. All right, this one came out. The three of ones. Yeah, someone's holding on to you. Angel gods and spirits. I feel like this situation. Mm, I don't take the top card, but let me get through some more cards. Spirits. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Spirits. Angel Death of Spirits for the final outcome. Show me the destiny. Show me the destiny y'all need to see. Okay, so right there. Now on the bottom of the deck, you have a full taking a leap, a new journey. But I'm just going to explain these cards here. All right. Let's start with the first here. Someone's holding on to you. There's a vision. And when I look at this card based on this situation, there's a vision of you looking out into the world and, and trying to make this choice. Do you let go of that last one? This is the three of wands, or do you hold on to it? Or the other person's holding on to you. And it could be that because you're so blessed with your financially that's coming in, money's coming in, or you're doing well financially, this person's holding on to you. Okay? And the third card that came out was the juggler. Again, the two the two of coins here. A balancing act. Um, and this was in your first read. So definitely some type of juggling or manipulation or being taken advantage of is here. Or you could be choosing another direction. All right. But the, on the last two cards I had here, that you had the Queen of Wands and the Emperor in the reverse. So if they're turned in the upright, the Emperor is kind of a strong, dedicated man that he welcomes all decisions. And he kind of keeps things in a balanced way. Now, he could be, um, he's very strong here. The same thing for the Queen of Wands. She's a, she grows things. She likes things to grow and get better. And this holding her wand here is like the dedicated to make it action, things to happen in the world. Okay? So, when we flip the cards, they came out in reverse. This Emperor could be bad news. Okay? He's not there to make things better. Um, he's lawless. Um, the emperor follows the rules and the law. Okay, he's he stands up in his power and he does what's right. But when it's in the re reverse, he is not doing something right. So the queen of wands, the same thing here. Um, the queen of wands feels like she can't grow. She can't, you know, make action. Can't make her life better because of this emperor sitting right beside her. Okay, so decide if you're the emperor or the queen of wands, it really doesn't matter in this situation, but someone is being, you know, doing wrong things here. And that's why the exceptions here and the, and the tower cards here, the emperor in the reverse is bad news. It's a bad guy. <laughs> you know, he's just being a bad guy. And the queen of wands in reverse, she just can't get better because she feels like you know, no matter how hard she tries, she can't make that growth. And also with the changes she wants to make and the actions she wants to take, she just, she feels like she's hopeless. Okay. So because of this juggler. Now this could be in your own life, Virgo. So let's go one more time. Angel, guys, and spirits. Please show me the cards I need to see. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, confirming. In the first reading, you had the King of Cups. You have the King of Cups again in the upright. So, and it's landing on top of the other king. So that's confirming that there is a strong soulmate love level here with that true love soulmate. Okay? Um, but then coming out next was the 
um, seven of coins, seven or seven of pentacles. This person is trying to grow their money, or this person could be taking your money off the tree. Um, they look like they're trying to work for it. They could be breadcrumbing you, and they're trying to decide if I should take it or not. Should I take advantage of this person? Should I take advantage of Virgo? How much can I get? But here's a transformation card here. The death card, a Scorpio card. Um, but the death card is here. And that means, I believe, let me just look for two more cards. But let's see what happens after that transformation. Angel, guys, and spirit, please show me two more cards for Virgo. Show me two more cards. card please okay someone hurt you Virgo um Again, after this transformation or the transformations come and you have experienced a, you know, within yourself on the Scorpio card or the death card, but this is, could be a third party situation. It could be a person manipulating you and cheating on you and lying to you. Or it could be someone that it could be you, your significant other, your spouse, your husband, your wife, your partner, someone at work. Two, pe two other people. It could be a mother-in-law. It could be a father-in-law. But you are in the middle of this situation that hurt you because of these other two people. Because some, like, bringing you into a third-party situation financially or through love. So someone manipulated you here with love to get to your money. And then at the end, um, you have the justice card. Okay. You want justice to be done. And you are standing strong. Remember your strength card on your first reading from the past. You need to be strong with this. Okay. This person's going to get their justice. Okay. And I just want to take one more to clarify that justice card. Please clarify the justice card. Please clarify the justice card. Clarify. Yes. The Justice card and the the Ten of Wands came in reverse. You are want, you got rid of this mess. This is this has been a burden on you, and you're taking it off your shoulders. You really love this person, and you truly love them. But there's a codependency on you again. Remember that codependency card is coming in somewhere in this reading to show you someone's dependent on you financially, or maybe a free place to live. And this has became a burden on you. And you're dropping it. And because you're standing with that justice card here, this could be karma. All right. So, you know, the side of karma, the justice here. So, um, to think about that, you need to have it make that decision. Okay. With that judgment card, you know, with you, this is true love with codependency attached to it. And, you need to heal and love yourself, okay? Well, this Queen of Cups in the first reading that sit beside the healing card right here, these two, I believe, I feel like you need to take yourself financially. You have been giving out your love, and this has caused you, caused you to be exhausted. That's going to turn you into the Empress. You're going to feel better, okay? So you need to feel better. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is just show you a couple cards. For manifesting okay and give you advice on you know positive advice on this reading
and as you were waiting, um, can you please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, please? If it resonated with you, and leave a comment. That'd be greatly and very nice of you. You know, so, let's see. Okay, angels, there's one Yeah, oh, that was came from the top. I love when the cards come out in the middle. <laughs> there we go. That's flipped. Okay, going back to your soulmate. According to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other half. So, this is a soulmate. Now, this might be a karmic soulmate. This is not your lifelong soulmate. This is a karmic, for someone to be manipulating and bringing burdens to you, it seems like a karmic cycle that you're in. Okay? So, you might, it's a karmic. Um, that's going to teach you a lesson, right? But it does feel like a true soulmate, and we have different types of soulmates. Never give up on something you really want. So, that's up to you, Virgo. It depends on you. Uh, everything is free will, right? So, but I do see here you need to take some time off for yourself to heal. Love yourself first. Break that codependency for whatever it is. And you decide if you want this relationship or not. It is a soulmate. But you need to, um, you can be empress. Okay? But just take care of yourself financially. Watch your bank accounts. Watch your spending. Um, watch someone asking you for money and those types of things because it looks like they're codependent on you for something. Okay, that's my advice. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time and get a notification and have and be safe in the world. Thank you. Bye-bye.